Jose Martinez has been collecting music since 1963. I'm somebody who's always appreciated good quality sound and good quality video versus what most people settle for. While many of us have collected music, Jose has never stopped. He has been adding to his collection for over 55 years. He's amassed a university library caliber collection of rock, jazz, classical, blues, Motown, soul, and so much more. Are you ready for some numbers? 45,000 CDs, 10,000 LPs, 14,000 DVDs of movies, TV shows, and concerts. We're talking 3,457 days of material. That's nine and a half years. That is dedication. You are going to learn about this university professor who has taken a very meticulous approach to building his collection. Jose is a man who not only wants the best in his software, he's also become an audiophile along the way and has a system that would be the envy of most any connoisseur. When I started this collection in, in 63, that we came from Cuba and, uh, and then uh, in 61, and then I started collecting in, in 63. <laughs> but anyway, and that it's something that I've always kept up and built my collection but also wanted to have the right kind of sound later on the right kind of video because in the old days there was no good video you know sound was good before video was good jose's collection is extremely comprehensive he combines his love of music with his love of film but he's always placed a high value on quality music is my passion and and concert videos are my passion and and movies are my passion, and, and, I'm, and I'm somebody who's always appreciated good quality sound and good quality video versus what most people settle for. Meticulous attention to detail is a highlight of the collection. Jose utilizes a purchase criteria that only an audiophile can appreciate. It's the holy trinity recording, mastering, and pressing. Music is number one, but music without good sound quality is not as good, so I've always focused both on collecting good performances, but I prefer good performances when they are well recorded, well mastered, and then well pressed. So, it's, so I collect a lot of audiophile quality SACDs, Super Audio CDs, uh, Blu-ray audio, in the old days, DVD audios, they're not uh, very popular anymore. But LPs, especially audiophile editions, but I also buy some CDs that are not well recorded or well mastered simply because I enjoy the music and I'm not doing without it. It's just that I don't enjoy it as well as I do something that's well recorded. For over 30 years, visitors to Jose's homes have had jaw-dropping experiences. I've had people <laughs> Back in the uh, in in 1990 or 91 or something, say, I've died and gone to heaven <laughs> when they saw my collection because they'd never seen anything like it. But it's not even one one tenth of what it is now, probably. <laughs> in these politically correct times, Jose refuses to call his place the ultimate man cave. Yeah, well, I'll call it the person cave. Because I'm not a, I don't like uh, the sexist part of calling it a, a man cave. It could be a woman cave too. <laughs> but some people will call it a man cave. And it, it is a place that I can just be out here and uh, get away from everybody or entertain my rowdy friends that my wife doesn't want to hear. <laughs> to turn an oversized garage into this state-of-the-art facility required the expertise of Ed Masterson at Audible Images in Melbourne. Serendipity played a role in how they met. Jose was at a Best Buy seeking advice on room treatments. Ed was in the same Magnolia room at Best Buy and overheard me and he says, well, I can do that. <laughs> and the rest of history. 
Their first project together was in Jose's home prior to the current one. Jose wanted a space that was soundproof and acoustically treated. He designed and, and, and we built a, a soundproof room with acoustic treatments, but then it was a, we took a, a bedroom and enlarged it because we took part of another room and eliminated the closet and stuff, and we turned it into something larger than a regular bedroom that was, that was totally dedicated to, to AV. As the collection grew, Jose's desire for the ultimate AV room and adjoining library necessitated a move to a new home. I know, I know, don't we all wish our home purchase decisions were based on this simple requirement? So then I started looking for houses specifically that had enough land and enough, the thing was set up so that I, I could build a really nice addition. And then we found a house that actually had a, an oversized separate garage that a lot of it could be converted in, into uh, the AV room and into part of the library and it just needed some more addition and it was a perfect house for, for doing the project. No job is too large for Audible Images. Ed has the engineering and design background to turn any space into a truly special room for the enjoyment of music and video. Attention to detail is born out of Ed's engineering experience. We had a couple of other places we considered and he said this one's perfect. So he was involved from the beginning and then in the design of, of the AB room, uh, for, including all the, not only the soundproofing, but all the acoustic panels and, uh, and the cabinets for where the, the wires are hidden, but at the same time, you can just lift the lid and, and you can get to them. So everything is designed for easy access and for being able to replace cables and HD, whether HDMI cables or any other kind of cables without having to do anything other than lift the lid, you know. <laughs> the library and sound room is accessed via a long hallway. The two rooms are 5,000 square feet and are detached from the rest of the home, an ideal scenario for listening loudly. And at first uh, there's a, a piano room and then after that you go into uh, the, the collection area and then the AV room. But the, uh, it's, uh, the room is totally soundproof anyway, but then even if I entertain here, because it's kind of far from the rest of the house, separated by a very long hallway, I don't bother my family and my wife is very sensitive to, to noise and I have friends over and we can get kind of loud. The components are truly impressive. Diagostino, Logan, Macintosh, JL Audio, Transparent Audio, and many more. Truly great rooms require truly great gear. Ed recommended the Diagostino uh, Momentum Amps uh, for those speakers, and, and he was right. It's a great match for them, so I got those. And then the other thing I got, I got uh, another two uh, of the big subwoofers, uh, the Gothams, made by JL, uh, that are really good. And now I have four of those instead of just two in the other room, I just have two. And then I still have a, another four subwoofers in the back and another four speakers. And it's like I've got two center channel speakers and then four surrounds and, and then two main ones plus eight subwoofers in this room. You might think it's overkill, but if you're here, instead of thinking it's overkill, you think you died and went to heaven. <laughs> Ed Masterson started Audible Images with one goal in mind, to spend more time doing what he loves. What is that? Designing and building high-performance audio and video entertainment systems. For Jose, there are the other ways and the Audible Images way. Some people also buy equipment online without ever hearing it. They don't really know what it sounds like, but then they also don't have somebody who knows how to set it up and who's there for you. So the thing with Ed is that we had a lot of fun always discussing the different options, and there's always lots of different options, 
and we still do because I'm never happy. I always want to upgrade something or other. <laughs> but the, uh, so we have a lot of fun talking about it, but then knowing that it's going to be set up right, and then if anything goes wrong, and just a short uh, text away or a phone call away, and then uh, usually within a day, sometimes even the same day, I either Ed or Miguel come over and, and deal with whatever issue or problem I had. No one can deny that Jose's room is state-of-the-art, but he is very quick to point out that amazing results are achievable with much more modest budgets. You don't have to spend the kind of money I spent on this room because the other room that Ed built was a fraction of what this room is. <laughs> and it still gave me that experience, but Ed knew how to design it just right so that I would get that effect even in a room that was only slightly lar larger than a bedroom. Jose sums up nicely the Audible Images experience. Personalized customer service that uh, you know, I'm caring and, and attentive and I don't have to worry about anything. For Jose, the lifelong dream has been realized thanks to his passion and the efforts of Ed Masterson at Audible Images. It sounds just as good as a real concert hall or even better. And then you can see the musicians on the screen if you've got a concert video and you can actually appreciate it more than if, even if you're in row eight because you can't see all the musicians, but because of the, the way they uh, film things and they focus on the, whenever somebody's soloing on them, you can see her, their finger movements and all that. It's totally an out of this world experience. And it's like, my goodness, the only problem I have with it is that I don't wanna go to sleep because once I start listening to um, my music at night or watching my concert vi videos or watching a movie in here, I want to do another one and then another one. And then all of a sudden it's three o'clock in the morning and I still haven't gone to bed. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to retirement. <laughs>